next performance area is going to, we're staying with the triad, and what we're going to do is we're going to put the triad into a harmonic context so that we're playing from C to a different chord. We'll start off uh, with a, a simple chord progression. We'll change keys now a little bit. We're going to be in the key of, uh, I think the key of G is where it is in the notes that you have. So uh, we're going to play the simplest chord progression we can, which is a one, four, five chord progression. In the key of G, the first chord is a G major chord. The fourth chord is G, A, B, C major. The fifth chord is G, A, B, C, D major. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to start off just by playing from one chord to the next in what's called parallel fashion. And that's, that's sort of like using the advantage of the guitar where we're always going to be playing exactly the same shape. Those of you know that play bar chords, that's just like playing from one chord to the next where you keep the same exact finger. So that's, that's going to be the technique that we're going to use to sort of familiarize ourselves with different shapes. So just looking at the highest set of strings, this would be my G major root position chord. If I wanted to go to a C major chord, it would be down here. The D major chord's on the fifth fret. And what you can think is, always know where your root is. And that, it's real easy then to find chord to chord. This is the G, and this is the G chord. This is the C, and that's the C chord. This is the D, and that's the D chord. Then you would do the same thing with the first inversion chords. This is a G major chord. That's where my root is. That's my C major. That's my D major. Back to G major. And then with the second inversion chord. That's G major, C major, D major. I want you to be able to do that on all sets of strings again. G to C to D to G.